So today I'm going to show you how to use a scrap fabric to create a little tiny pillow. You need a sharp needle and thread. I'm going to show you how to thread your needle. You want it to be a double thread. So it should be it should be two pieces of thread thick. So I'm going to cut it way down here. And then you need to make a nice big knot. So I'm going to show you how to make a nice big knot. Wrap it around your finger a couple of times, two or three times. And then you're going to roll the thread off your finger and that is slowly tying it into a knot. So keep rolling it and then pull. I'm holding it and I'm going to pull and it creates a nice big knot. All right. Now I'm going to use a piece of scrap fabric and I'm just going to use a little bit of it. I'm going to create a tiny little pillow. So I think I'll use like this rectangle right where it's cut. I'm going to use that rectangle. So I'm going to cut right where it's already cut. Just cut that off. And you want to fold the the nice part of the fabric, the good fabric in. You want it to be inside when you're sewing. You'll see why at the end. Okay, there's my little tiny pillow. Move clean off my table. And you're gonna start sewing right in this one corner and then you're gonna work your way all the way around. So here to here and you're gonna stop about halfway. You need to leave an opening so that you can put some stuffing in there to make it a fluffy pillow. You really need to use the running stitch with this type of a project, not the whip stitch. So again, when you poke, be very careful. Be mindful of where you're poking the needle. Slowly pull the thread through. If you go too fast, it gets caught on itself and it makes a knot. So try to keep your fabric nice and straight. Sometimes it does shift on you. And continue to use the running stitch. Oops, see that? You have to go nice and slowly. Keep it away from your fingers. It gets caught on the fabric. You just have to go slow. Yep, keep it nice and straight. Continue all the way around until you get to the that last side and halfway. I think I can fit one more stitch in there. Now if you pull it too tightly, it crinkles up on you too. So I keep pulling it back out. I want a nice straight pillow. I don't want, see how it, it pulls. You want it to be nice and straight. So just keep pulling it back out. Now you need to tie this off. So I'm going to go under the last stitch I did. And you see that loop right there? You want to go in that loop to create a little knot. Again, do this slowly. Do it again. You need to have a double knot. slow 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 okay this is done 
cut off the thread. I'm going to keep my needle right here because I'm going to need it later. So in fact, I'm just going to tie another knot a couple of times around your finger, roll it off, and pull. Okay. Now you have to flip your pillow the correct way so that you're going to wind up hiding all those edges and stitches. So you just got to go slowly, slowly push, slowly pull. It's going to keep pulling from that center. This again takes time. Be patient until it's completely out or reversed. So sometimes you need to get a pair of scissors or a pencil and just kind of push the corners back out to reshape your pillow. Okay. Now you got to push down this rough edge so that you can sew that up nicely later. Now you need to stuff it. Okay, here we go. Just do a little at a time. You can even use the pencil or scissors to help shove it in there. Fix the end and then you need to sew it closed. You want to get this big knot in the inside of the pillow so you don't see it. So I'm going to start on the inside and actually instead of, see I'm going to just shove that knot in there, instead of starting in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start all the way on the one side. I'm going to do the whip stitch for the outside here. You can do either, but I'm going to start on that one side. So I'm going to get the needle all the way back on the other side here because the whip stitch is more of a design. Whoops. That's why you got to go slowly. The whip stitch has a look to it. So I want that look to be on this one side and start whip stitching. It's a little thicker to push through so be careful of your fingers. And now this side has a nice look to it. If you wanted to you can do a decorative whip stitching on the other side of the pillow so that they're both the same. All right now to tie a knot go back to that last stitch I'm pulling from the inside here because I want my knot to be on the inside. Go back to that last loop and slowly pull. I'm going to go back through that same spot. Make my double knot. Uh, there it goes. Whew. Sometimes you just have to shove those little knots back in. I guess I'm going to do one more just to make sure that because that one got, kind of got stuck. And that's it. This is how you make a pillow. Hope you have fun experimenting. Making a pillow.